Another 100 degree day, another dangerous fire. Yesterday, we told you about firefighters in Bradley County overcome by the heat. Today, emergency crews in Catoosa County had to fight that battle. Uh, we were down at uh, my house in uh, Rock Springs when, when we received the call. That call said that the home of Steve Hess's niece was on fire. Catoosa County firefighters battled flames at her Flamingo Lane home. When the first truck got on the scene, they had heavy fire coming out of the back, back of the house. Some of the neighbors had reportedly kicked the door in. No one was home when the fire started, and a neighbor called 911 when they saw the smoke. The back of the home suffered the most damage, but the family fears the worst. You can tell from looking at the back of it and everything that it's, uh, it's just... It's a loss. Firefighters got the flames under control, but while they did, Deputy Chief Jim White says one firefighter hurt his knee and had to go to the hospital. The rest had to battle the heat, and White says they handled it well. Uh, it's very hot. We've got Angel EMS here. We've got a mist fan set up. We've got plenty of water. Our rehab people are here. As for the mother and daughter who live there, they'll stay with family for the time being. She has a place to stay, and... I just, I, I just hate it for her and, and, and my little niece. Firefighters are still investigating what caused the fire. The Red Cross will be helping the family for the next few days.